Good Sunday morning, afternoon, YouTube people. Free swimmer here. Uh, winding down a little bit. Been cleaning on this thing. Been cleaning this tank for, oh, probably four hours. Details, thinking. What can I do different? What do I want different? I actually, one outside edge, I didn't cut it all the way back to the glass, but close. I cut some of the silicone off because it really wasn't cured that completely yet. I did a lot more research and yes, you can, everything that I read, I'm not going to say yes, go ahead and do it. I'm just going to say everything that I read and everything that I've experienced, everything that I've done, it has proven to me time and time again that silicone, if it's not old, if it's still fresh, a few days old, not 100% cured, you can still tie into it with some more silicone. So what I did was... I cut one of the seams on the side, I cut a waffly, messy looking edge, and I made it nice and clean, put new silicone in there, spread it nice, very happy. Looks perfect, I've only got one seam left to do, I moved some of my support br brace boards, moved them around, I did a bunch of cleaning, I think uh, it's 99.9% .9 done. There's always something I'm going to see that I can do. A little thing here, a little thing there, a scuff, a smudge. I actually would be completely satisfied running it just like this. It's, uh, I think it's obvious to everybody. If you look and remember the globs that were coming out, well, I did some really careful cutting. Because I know when you score glass, you score deep, it'll snap. Hard with half inch glass. But still, it's possible, so what I did was I, uh, I was gentle with the edge of the blade. I didn't want to score it. I just wanted to just barely get to it so I could get that uh, silicone bead cut out of there. And uh, that's about it. Just wanted to touch base. Went and got some plumbing, more plumbing. I'm working on my Stockman's. That's two inches. I was thinking I could reduce right at the openings to inch and a half going into the sump. But I'm not going to do that because I want the full 2 inch drop all the way through. It's a 4,800 gallon per hour return pump with my head loss. I'm looking at probably 4,350, 4,400, like 68 pounds, uh, gallons per hour loss with the head loss. It's about 4 and a pinch feet. So just rough calculations always on the side of caution. If I stay with the 2 inch. That'll give me plenty of gravity flow drain back so that it'll be more than the return pump can ever produce. I'll never have to worry about an overflow. Because time and time again I've explained and uh, expressed how if there's more water going in than can possibly be pushed back out, it will never overflow because it won't flow any more in than is being demanded to push back out. So it, it self-levels. Did a video on it. Always willing to talk more about it. It's kind of a big mystery to some people. I'm sure it can be scary. Six years ago, seven years ago when I started with sumps, it was kind of a, an intriguing thing. So I went ahead and put a 10 gallon tank with a 1200 gallon per hour pump on it. And I put an inch overflow and I watched it overrun it and dry it up. So then I did it in the reverse. I put a little 450 gallon per hour pump on it with that inch pipe and there was more water going in than it could possibly push out and always self leveled so I've learned that on several occasions anyway that's it for now plumbing coming I want to show everybody a cleaner tank getting close about two weeks of cure time after I get this all taken down get my Sockman's done videos coming thanks again for everybody and I am going to do a uh, some sort of a contest, something just to get everybody involved. Now, it won't be any big prize winnings, but it'll be something, just an appreciation thank you because I did hit the 500. I want to thank everybody for being part of that. Y'all take care. Later.